Splitworks is an environment running under SOLIDWORKS to split parts into core and cavity inserts, side cores and sub-inserts. In the following short demo, we will show some highlights of Splitworks. First, we analyze and preview the part by selecting a split direction. Notice that we can choose to see the parting lines and explode the part before creating the environment. The color coding helps us identify the different core, cavity and undercut areas. Once we are satisfied with the preview, the system creates the Splitworks environment under the Splitworks tab, including initial groups pointing to the different split areas and a parting line fill. Working with standard SOLIDWORKS menus, we can complete the splitting of the part. For example, modifying the BOSS direction dynamically updates the environment, recalculating the parting line and the color coding. The Splitworks environment includes its own set of methods, accessed through the right-hand mouse button, allowing us to create our own functional group areas, for example, undercut, side cores, sub-inserts, etc. We can also move faces between the different groups in order to finalize the actual split structure. After creating the cavity surface from the cavity folder, we use a Splitworks menu to automatically plug the holes in the surface. Splitworks is completely integrated, so the SOLIDWORKS standard surface menus are available to patch holes if necessary. SOLIDWORKS surface menus can also be used to complete the parting surface. Here we use it to create a radiate surface. Splitworks includes a specific loft function for creating parting surfaces, which uses SOLIDWORKS surface menus to pull out complex edges along a vector. It includes a solver to overcome possible projection failures and will give a result even if it's not perfect, allowing you to finish the job with other Splitworks and or SOLIDWORKS menus. Splitworks includes a core and cavity insert generator, which creates the inserts within an assembly environment. We use Splitworks to create the side cores for this part by knitting the side core group folders into surfaces, filling in holes, and then creating solid side cores from these surfaces. These side cores are then transformed in the assembly environment to separate parts through another Splitworks menu, which names and saves them on the disk. Here we create a sub-insert through a dedicated Splitworks menu, which performs all the actions to create the slots and add the sub-insert as a separate part. 